The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. Currently, we have all the U.S. equity futures trading to the upside. The Dow's up 173 points. NASDAQ 165. Uh, S&P is up uh, 22. And the Russell is up 11 points out there. That's about a half a percent or more for each of those. Over in Asia last night, all the uh, markets, or I should say the Shanghai, the Shanghai, the Nikkei, and the Hang Seng, all close into the upside, uh, nearly 8% for the Hang Seng, they're in A to B equals CD patterns to the upside. The DAX and the FTSE, they're also in A to B equals CD patterns. However, you've got a mixed bag out there. The DAX is up 57 points. The FTSE is back 32. In the metals area, everything is trading the upside. Gold's up 14 cents. Silver's up a penny. Platinum's up 90 cents. Palladium's up 75 bucks. Copper's up 14 pennies. That's a nice move, almost 4% to the upside. Lights Recruit is up by two and a half bucks. That's nearly 3%. And natural gas is up 3% or 18 pennies out there. If we take a look at what does all that mean let's switch over and take a look at my uh, another nine set of panel uh, market update uh, charts out here and we begin with the es mini and the es mini's got an a to b equal cd pattern to the upside that one-to-one -one price projection would take you to 4126 you'll see above 4126 4175 that is a td9 count breakdown area that is the target right now for the es mini the nq really has a consolidation pattern and if price can close above i would put there where it's labeled c out there that high is at 11.734. You will then have a uh, consolidation breakout. Now, that consolidation breakout for the NQ uh, should take us up into the, about the 12.900 area. Well, you see at 12.987, you've got a TD9 count breakdown level. That would become its price target. The Dow, the only thing you have to worry about the Dow is it does have a Rhodes Momentum Indicator signal. Uh, of course, there was one that was confirmed on um, Wednesday, it was negated yesterday, and that means that green oscillator and change on is really a very key level of support out there. So you can see, if we take a look at uh, Wednesday's price action, price simply pulled back, it was with inside the profile, never closed below that green oscillator and change line. A green oscillator and change line tells you have a rising price oscillator above zero. Those are bullish conditions. In the case of high grade copper, you can see it's trading above yesterday's high. Looks like this wants to go target the 444 area. The gold contract, no reason for this not to move higher. The US dollar index also moved be lower out there silver though uh will or should form a td9 count top today and complete that pattern on monday so silver may be getting ready for a bit of a pullback folks stay tuned tommy o'brien with the morning market kickoff is up next have a fantastic friday fabulous weekend i'll look forward to seeing you on monday 11 o'clock sharp take care